right. Got some new mats from 3D mats. These are actually called um, the Kaju line, K-A-G-U. And these are the best all-weather mats you can get, period. I've had them in another vehicle and I love them so much. I got these now. And they're for the Maverick and it's for the hybrid. There's not a lot of hybrid versions out there in these mats on the rear because the hybrids are one inch shorter in the back on the floorboard than the uh, EcoBoost by design. So a little bit strange, but that's what they did. So I'm gonna show you the difference between these cool Kaju mats and the mats I got in the car. I wanted to say, first of all, thanks for coming to the channel, appreciate it. If you haven't followed this channel, appreciate your subscription if you could, and thumbs up. Also, if you're interested in this product, I'm gonna put a link in the description, as well as up here, and also a coupon code that's available so you can save a few bucks. Let me show you the stock mats. These are the ro weatherproof mats, uh, rubber mats. They do make some cloth mats as well, of course, but I wanted to use the weather mats. You can see on the passenger side, it has a lining here on the edge, a little lip there, a lip that goes around. This one's not too bad. Passenger side is not too bad. It doesn't go all the way up, I'm guessing because of this plastic thing, but um, that's the design of it. Pretty easy to install. It does have a little spot. It doesn't snap uh, like where the carpet is, but it has a hole. Um, and it's got these little rubber teeth there like many mats have. No issues with slipping on that side. And you can see it says Maverick, so cool about that one. Uh, let me show you the rear mat real quick. Let's see if you can see it here. So the rear mat, let me take the tr Fitz trash can out the way so you can see. You can see here, the rear mat is two pieces actually. And you can see that there's a rubber flap over one piece of the mat that goes right there. So that's a rubber flap and then the rest just pops in. And we can pull this out too. Rubber teeth, Ford mats, pretty thick. Is this pretty simple. Now on the driver's side, this is the one thing that I want to kind of show you. And I'm hoping that the 3D mats are gonna be better on it. A little bit easier to see here because I'm taller, so I got them way back. Um, they're dirty, which is what nice purpose of it. It's a little exposure here. The biggest exposure, and I think it's for safety, I've read about it. You can see the wear of my foot pedal because I'm resting my foot or my heel right there. Um, it's a little bit worn there at near the gas pedal. Uh, I think over time, that's gonna be really be worn out. But maybe it's a safety thing, I'm guessing. Uh, you can see the edge, how hard, how high it goes up here. And it goes up partially on the footrest. So, um, and I guess I tend to put my foot all over the place. <laughs> Anyways, uh, passenger side does use the tabs though. I don't know how it keeps from leaking or waterproofing because of the tabs being right there. You can see it's a hole, but Maybe it seals pretty good, I'm not sure. I haven't tried to put a lot of water on these things, so if you have one of these mats, let me know how weatherproof they are if I'm getting in the carpet. You can see it's dirty. You see the shape, it's pretty firm, but that's how it goes. So let's go back, look at the uh, Kaju mats. I'll talk about them. So, it's three pieces. The rear is one large size. Let me back it up so you can see better. So it's this one large rear mat. It's got a pretty good lip right here on the rear. Um, you see the material, if you can see it, it's kind of got like a smoother material. It's not slippery rubber, which I like. I, like I said, I've used this before. It's not slippery rubber, uh, but it has a good grip on your feet. And it's very easy to clean. You just really, literally rinse it off. You can brush it if the stain's really hard, like a chocolate, melted chocolate. Now check out the other side. So other side, the design's pretty cool. Instead of, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can do this. Instead of um, spiky rubber feet, we got these little fibers all over the place. So they're little tiny fibers. And it's really kind of almost, I want to say hairy and itchy, but because of that, it keeps it from moving. Think of it sort of like a Velcro almost, but it won't peel off hard like a Velcro. It just kind of grips like how 
the TC Velcro part gets on. So that's what I like about it too. So once it goes on, the whole thing is one big piece. See, everything has that material. So that way it'll hug to the carpet better. Look at the front. So this is the passenger side. And it does have the hole mount for that one hole we saw. Um, also it looks pretty solid here. I would say it's basically sealed, it looks like. So that'll snap in and keep it from moving. Uh, here, here's the passenger. So look at the coverage. Let's back it up so you guys can see it better. Not a shape. Look at the coverage here. So it is a little bit higher on this side but this one goes higher there on the uh, 3D mat. And then also this whole entire lip is larger, you can see here. If you compare the size and the edge here, it's actually gonna cover more here for liquid. It's gonna get your foot in better coverage up here. Maybe not so much here, but it's still pretty high for the arch. And then a little bit higher lip here still. On the edge all the way around it doesn't it doesn't seem to uh, come up like it does here so that's the passenger side oh. driver's side that's what we're gonna go I'm gonna put this in real quick but this had the two tabs as well so I think this will be pretty easy and it has a nice little area for your foot with lower ridges so you won't feel as slippery but this is not slippery material and it's very lightweight by the way um, very lightweight like this one on the passenger side I could hold it but I could feel the weight on the fingertips this one not at all so let's uh, put on the passenger side since I'm already on this side right so let's go here okay a little, a little higher A little tap pops right in the hole. Just gonna push it down just to cover the one corner. Wow. Look at that. You see that difference? That's nice. And it's not gonna move the way it's gonna sit. And look how it's it way up there. It's all the way up to the top. Uh, very nice. Okay. You know what I'm over here? I'm also good this side, huh? Alright, so here's the two piece mat. It sits like that. Here's the one piece mat. And you can see the difference how it kind of covers a little bit more contouring, right? And since this is not a thick material, it'll be more flexible laying down. Let's see, I should vacuum this, but. I'm too excited. Let's get this in. Alrighty, just pushing it down. Very nice, nice and snug fit. Two little dogs, I mean. So you can see, it goes pretty far back behind the seat here. I moved it forward actually, so when moving it back, it actually be a lot better. Uh, has that lip I was talking about. You get some spills, it goes all the way to the edge here, which is good. What I like about this one too, it actually goes with the curve. A little bit of a gap, but that's okay. It's not gonna be perfect, but you know, uh, that's pretty nice. And it goes all the way down here to the other side. You can see that as well. It's so really clean. Now I can put uh, my trash can back from this fits system and it fits nice. So the problem I know, had noticed with the rubber mat, it actually kind of lifted it more. With this one, it kind of keeps it a little bit more flush because it's a thinner material and it has, uh, um, it, 
minimizes the, the thickness on the bottom because technically the other one I told you was that flap and that flap doesn't lay flat as much. So this is actually better. Look at that, that's pretty nice, right? Okay, time to get to the driver's side then. So you can see it has a bigger mat here, here, and it also covers that foot pedal area, which I like, which you can see it was cut out here. It also sits higher in the back here. It has a bigger ridge all around to help with uh, any water. And again, again, this is sealed, it looks like, or pretty tight, so I won't have uh, water leaking through here. So let's get this on. Alrighty, let's take off the 3D mat. I don't know if you heard it, but a good snap in. You can see how close it sits. Look at here. So now, the way, this area is pretty exposed just like the other one but I mean, that's not too important because it does have this thing here my foot wants to go that way it's blocked here and look at where my foot pedal is it sits there but it doesn't get anywhere near the mat plus i was telling you the material on the bottom uh, the way it grips it's not going to lift up easily but once you push it down settle down so it's not going to really budge so there's no worry that's gonna catch here. I mean, this. okay, and look at here, it goes up higher in the footrest as well. So, it's a really nice clean fit, Matt. One thing I forgot to mention is that they use a 3D laser scan to make sure that this is fit perfectly three-dimensional, hence 3D mats, okay? Uh, you will, so I really love these mats, and I know you will too. So go ahead, if you're interested in it, again, I'll put the link up here and in the description below with also a discount. So if you want that discount, you gotta go to the link, okay? Uh, let me know what you guys think. This is like the only mats that I've seen so far for a hybrid, so far. And I think this is one of the best all-weather mats out there. It's also for the EcoBoost, but again, this is the only ones I've seen for the hybrid. Again, fix again. Oh, I'm out of shape. Peace out.